YouTube, it's Weird Paul. In the 80s, before the internet, when I was a teenager, we couldn't just go online to look at photos of our favorite bands and singers. We could buy rock and roll magazines, or we could buy posters to hang on our walls. But for a kid like me without much money, there was still another alternative. You could cut pictures out of the newspaper of the bands and hang those clippings on your bedroom wall. There was a sort of archway in the middle of my room, which you can see at the top of the screen in this old video. And you'll also see clippings of rock stars that I'd hung there. And over 30 years later, you can still see who was taped up there on the archway thanks to this video from 1986. I threw away most of those clippings in the late 80s, but I saved three of them. Let's see who I had hung up and which ones I saved. The first band on the arch was Huey Lewis and the News. I liked that band. They had catchy songs like I Want a New Drug, but I didn't save the picture. The next photo on the wall was of Rush. Rush were and still are one of my favorite bands. Tom Sawyer! So, it's surprising that I threw that picture out. I was even certain that I had saved it. Then there was Queen. I think the first song I heard by them was Radio Gaga and Tom Petty. But the only one of his songs that I really liked was Don't Come Around Here No More. It was one of the first 45s that I ever bought. I hung up a picture of Robert Plant. I liked him because he had been the singer for Led Zeppelin. And Daryl Hall and John Oates. Out of Touch was one of my favorite songs, and I got the record for my 14th birthday. I didn't save any of these. And I'm really surprised I didn't save Hall and Oates. They're still my favorite music duo of all time. Next was John Fogarty. He'd been the singer of Creedence Clearwater Revival, but I also liked his new songs like Rock and Roll Girls. And I hung up The Cars, another of my favorite bands that I'd loved since I'd heard their song You Might Think. I also liked the Red Rocker, Sammy Hagar. His album VOA was one of the three records I got from the Columbia Record Club in 1985. Don Henley was another photo that I hung up. I liked the kick em when they're up, kick em when they're down chorus of his song Dirty Laundry. And then there was Loverboy. I really liked their song Hot Girls in Love, but I didn't keep the picture. And I didn't keep the picture of The Firm either. The Firm featured the guitarist of Led Zeppelin and the singer of Bad Company. But finally, we've come to a picture that I did save. I saved the picture of George Thorogood. Why did I save it? Well, I think the reason was that it was the only time I'd ever seen a picture of him anywhere. He was popular, but just not as famous as the other musicians that I usually saw in the paper. Next on the arch were Wang Chung. I only liked one of their songs, Dance Hall Days, but I liked it a lot. It had a great melody, but I still didn't like it enough to save the picture. But I did save the next one. The Go-Go's were my favorite band in my early teens. I got their album Beauty and the Beat for my 14th birthday. Why did I save this one? Well, probably because lead singer Belinda Carlisle was my first celebrity crush. I kept every picture of the Go-Go's that I ever cut out. Up next was Cindy Lauper. She had a lot of great catchy songs, like the one from the movie The Goonies. I also had a picture I'd cut out of Pat Benatar. I'd been listening to her music since I'd heard Shadows of the Night in 1982. And I hung up a picture of Madonna. She was the boy toy that was like a virgin. Ooh, how kinky. I didn't save any of those pictures, but there was one last picture I hung up on that arch that I did save all of these years. The last picture on the arch was Joan Jett. Why did I save this one? Well, I'd listened to Joan Jett since 1982 when I'd heard Bad Reputation. But in 1987, she had a surprise comeback with the hit I Hate Myself for Loving You. I think that was around the time I might have thrown the other pictures away, but since I'd just gone out and bought her new album, I probably decided to keep it. Those were all the pictures that I'd hung up in my room on that arch, but I did find one picture that I'd saved that I didn't hang up. I'd cut this picture of Weird Al Yankovic out in 1984 when Eat It came out. Why didn't I hang it up with the others? Well, if we flip it over, we could see that it must have been glued in some kind of scrapbook. Even though I didn't save the scrapbook, I did save this picture. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the 80s bedroom rock and roll pictures today. And if you did, don't forget to click on the like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.